So a question I've been asked is why can't women be priests? And it's a bit of a, I guess it is a hot topic, because um, it might sound to people that the Catholic Church is being really sort of exclusive, that it's only men that can become priests. Um, so bear with me, let's see where we go with this. Um, I've got a couple of ideas I think are, are key, to, key to hit on. So the first one is that no one has a right to be a priest. So even if you're a man, you don't have a right to be a priest. So you can't just rock on up and say, I want to be a priest. It's not, it just doesn't happen. So a lot of people go to train to be priests, but not everyone who goes off to train to be a priest comes out being a priest. So I think that's really important to bear. It's not a, a right that anyone has. So when I did all my training, I trained for six years. Even at the end of that six years, they could have said to me, we don't think you're suitable. Um, you're not going to be a priest. Um, it would have been heartbreaking, but nonetheless, that is... Yeah, that's the case. So no one has a right to be a priest. Secondly, the church understands that Jesus did a lot of like stuff when he was alive, a lot of innovative stuff. And if he'd wanted to have made women priests, he would have done that. And the church doesn't feel it has the right to change something that Jesus himself established in that way. So I think that's essentially the argument, the church doesn't feel it has the right to change something that Jesus established, fundamentally. That's, that's the argument. But that's not to then exclude from the argument, so to speak, that actually I think women, if that was possible, would make really good priests. I think a really good argument I've heard is that the holiest woman who's ever walked the earth, sorry, the holiest person who's ever walked the face of the earth, is the mother of Jesus. Yeah, she was conceived without sin, she was sinless, she was amazing, she was just like awesome. Yet Jesus didn't make her a priest, didn't say, Mum, you're the holiest person that's ever lived, I'm going to make you the first priest because you're better than everyone. Look at all these guys I've got around me who keep messing up, you're better than them, I'll make you a priest. That wasn't the qualification for being a priest, um, that she was holier than everyone else. So the fact that Jesus didn't make his own mother, who was super holy, a priest, I think says a lot. I think that speaks a lot in, in this particular argument, in this particular situation. Um, also, I think from my own experience, being a priest, yes, it's a, a huge privilege. It's also a massive responsibility and can at times be really, really challenging. It doesn't feel like I've been given this awesome power to do something. I've, I've got to fix drains, I've got to fix fences, I've got to have car park disputes, as well as hearing people's confessions and getting, marrying people, doing all the wonderful things. There's also loads of stuff in it that's not romantic, it's not like a power thing. And all the women, all the people in our parish who do most, it's mainly women. I couldn't do anything I do without the, the help of so many women in our community. So while I'm the figurehead of the community, and I might be seen to have the power, fundamentally, most people who do most in our parish, people I rely on most for the whole place to work, are women. Women do loads and loads and loads of amazing things, very generously and very kindly. So, although the church doesn't want to change what Jesus established, really, women have such a profound and important role in the church. Um, and maybe people think being a priest is glamorous. I don't think it is necessarily glamorous. Um, and also, there are people much holier than me who aren't priests. So being holy isn't also a requisite for being a priest. So there's a number of complex arguments in the whole thing. Um, but it boils down to what Jesus established 2,000 years ago.